so I am at uh, a very important customer's house. Uh, they're like one of our priority customers. Uh, we they have a ton of systems. We do a lot of work for them, but I'll show you what I'm dealing with. Uh, it's an AC call, and uh, yeah, I'll show you. Okay, Let's see, I already got the cover off, and we've got a lot of ice. So what I'm gonna do now is thaw all the ice out, because this customer needs to have it fixed today. Uh, or at least running today if possible. So I'm gonna thaw it out with a uh, heat gun and get to working on it, figuring out why we're frozen. Okay, so just a quick update. Um, I was able to get the cover panel thawed off using the hot water. I poured it on the insulation and I was able to get the door off. Um, I did take out this triangle panel on the cover that way I can thaw this out. But um, right now I'm actually pouring hot water over the coil because it's loosening the ice off and I'm hoping I could just get it off in one block. And you could see, let me shine a light. You can see just how much uh, water is in here. Uh, how, I guess, long the system must have been freezing, because, I mean, that's a lot of water. But hopefully I can now break this entire panel off. I need a little bit more hot water. Yeah. Gonna need to pour some more hot water on, but I should be able to just break that off, and then I'll work on the next one. But, uh, for the most part, we're pretty thawed out. This entire piece of insulation is uh, ice, too, but uh, that's not really my main concern right now. Let's see if I can break it off now. Oh, it's so close, I can see the whole thing moving. it with hot water. You can see that one's almost completely peeled off though. But it's almost like a snow rather than a ice at this point. At least underneath the top which is solid blocks of ice. Okay, hopefully with this pour I'll be able to get that chunk off. I really want to get it on video, if I can get a whole panel off. <sighs> Still not working. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep thawing at it then. Okay, and I think this sheet is gonna completely come off. Yep, wow. Got that whole block off. A little bit more to go, and then I can see why it was frozen. There we go. Okay, just went outside to grab uh, tape. I'm gonna need tape to reassemble it. I did have to cut some metal, but I'm going to do a quick leak detection on the evaporator coil since I have the whole thing opened up uh, before I close it up. It's only a few years old, so shouldn't be leaking but it's all opened up why not do it while it's like that uh, i did come out just in time uh, i have no service in the basement of this house i've been here since 11 20 and it's 1 45 but uh mike and peter are on their way here mike's dropping off peter and uh we'll see what we do from here but i'm really just hoping it's not the evaporator coil leaking We'll see. Okay, here's that Ellie Tech. Uh, it does have a boot up time, 30 seconds. And I've had really, really good luck with it, actually. I've found, I don't know, maybe a dozen or so leaks with it. Um, so it's nice. It's 
I know it's cheap, but it definitely works. I mean, it's never, never had any issues with it or anything. The battery life lasts forever. I've never charged it, but um, it tells you, you know, the peak. I'll show you when it uh, loads up. Yeah, it tells you it'll hold here if it finds a leak. So however much it detected, it'll stay there. But this will show the current level that it's reading. And you can mute the uh, sound, which I usually don't do, but because I'm going to do a little bit on video. I'm going to mute it because that gets annoying. But, uh, yeah, just put it at all the coils. And I'll go through the whole thing with it unmuted, and I'll see if I find anything. Okay, so you can see uh, no detection of anything. I did go through every coil on the front side and the back side, on both sides, as well as I ran down the uh, other side where all the loops are. And all of these loops here, all these capillary tubes, the uh, connections on the TXV, uh, even the connection over here, and I got nothing, so. At least we know it's not here, uh, maybe in the line set, but we have really, really long runs going throughout the uh, house, so that's not going to be easy to find. I'm outside at the condenser now, we're going to put gauges on it, but uh, Mike and Peter came back here first before I did, and the master bedroom unit is also completely frozen so they pulled the disconnect out uh, and we were just talking about it the inside unit is a r22 evaporator coil with the 410 atxv but this one's 410 with a 410 uh, coil and txv so we'll see what's going on with it got my gauges on it and you can see our sub cooling's a little bit low and our superheat is at four might be a bad TXV, but we are freezing. Okay, so with the other system being frozen, uh, I'm gonna have to come back there tomorrow for that. And uh, I ran out of At the stop sign, turn so left onto Shanks Lane, I'm gonna come back then turn left. For the refrigerant charge on that condenser. Um, At the stop sign, turn left onto right Everett now Avenue. To take out a hydronic coil uh, for an air handler uh, that hopefully we can find a direct replacement for uh, and maybe I'll get some footage of that.